Hi, I'm Carl. When I was in year 11, I got involved with the student radio program and I really enjoyed it, so my media teacher encouraged me to get more involved with the radio station as a volunteer. I found out that it was possible for me to set up this volunteer role as an internship that would count towards my year 12 certificate. So with some help from my family, my college, the radio station and some NDIS funding, I was able to undertake an internship in radio production at the station. So we contacted the radio station and spoke to them about that and they were very, um, they were very supportive and we discussed some options for just providing Carl with a little bit of extra support to um, you know, come into that new environment and, um, g and get comfortable there because it's a big thing for someone on the autism spectrum to, to go into an environment that's different from what they've experienced before. So we just felt it would be helpful to have someone to help him um, you know, work, work with him um, just while he, while he got comfortable there and also to someone at the same time who could be helping him build his skills. By self-managing, we can use our NDIS funds um, for support um, from sources that aren't registered with the NDIS. So otherwise we'd be limited to just um, getting support from providers who are registered with the NDIS. So it means that we can draw on um, people who are already there, you know, who might be already working in an organisation um, or community group and so as it turns out there's a radio trainer at the station um, and so we were able to just um, engage her for a, a few hours a week and use our NDIS mentoring funds to, to pay for that additional support and you know now um, Carl's really very self-sufficient at the station um, and he's become really confident in his skills but yeah he just um, probably just needed that bridge for a little while um, to take that, that step forward. Um, so we have our media trainer Jenny who is a fantastic uh, member at 2XX and she conducts uh, all of our training for our volunteers and our on-air presenters and producers um, just on a freelance basis. So with the NDIS funding we were able to uh, not only use that on a project that we had specifically in mind for Carl but we were using in-house resources um, so actually taking people who we had worked with who we knew were um, you know knew, knew were right for the role and um, and we could Build, make it our own, you know. So when we heard that there was funding that we could actually employ a um, a person to work with Carl and teach them media skill, um, teach him sorry media skills, radio training, um, even just get him a little bit more aware of the media industry and 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 what what kind of happens behind the scenes. Um, it made all the difference because we we had we had a project in mind that we could do with him you know there was purpose um, and it was good for us because as well you know we got we got in a new member of staff and we created a bit more of a family for our working week. One of the things we have to do at 2XX is uh, provide community service announcements um, because it comes under our license as being a community broadcaster so what we have currently is announcers during our core programs like breakfast, lunchbox and drive time. Um, they have to uh, look through a lot of community events that are happening around Canberra and just they basically do live reads. And there's no problem with that, but you know, um, if we have extra hands on deck, we'd like to kind of jazz that up. And then we have Carl who is really interested in doing uh, production work and also um, has the time and the, you know, the passion to do it as well. So um, that was kind of what we got him started on. Basically he made it his own, did a bit of script writing and um, you know, would take something that seemed a bit mundane like a um, school fate happening on a Saturday and he would kind of mix in this script with it. And it was really good because, well now we have a bit more of professional, we have more professional content, 
uh, that's that's produced. It's got stings in it. It's got a little bit of background music, and that can be played, and it kind of gives us an all round um, uh, engaging radio uh, voice, I suppose. I found working with Carl very rewarding. Um, I, I connected with Carl really well, I think. For about the first three or four weeks, we were doing community announcements. And Carl really, I think, enjoyed that because he started doing some of his fantastic voice impressions. Um, so he was, he was putting his own stamp on it too, which was really lovely to see. Um, you know, and to see him grow into it, I guess, the role was great. Yeah, I mean, I, I was less, I suppose I was less there uh, in the later stages, you know, I was there in case something went wrong. Um, because Carl's an am amazingly fast, you know, learner. He picked things up really well. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got a, an across kind of role at 2XX, but, you know, I can see he, he loves being on the panels and he's got a nature for the radio technics. So I see Carl having a flourishing career as a radio producer, for sure. I, I think he's going to do fantastic things with radio in the future.